Well, I was doing a little ice fishing and we had a little warm up and a couple days of rain so I figure I figure I get a couple uh, weasel boxes out and I put a mink set in uh, my old faithful area and play around with that until the ice firms back up to where I'm comfortable going back out. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, here's the set I have. Got a little pocket set right there. Come right through here. Wound up with a nice little mink. We're all reset. We'll see how it goes. Just working on a mink here. Uh, where I caught it, I forgot to mention that uh, what I use for bait. Actually, I use ma canned mackerel. Uh, I hadn't planned on trapping any mink, so I usually keep a bunch of bluegills. I didn't have any of them, so I just picked up a can of uh, mackerel and a couple squirts of mink urine above it and that's about all I do really but now I got to put up this one Fox News meteorologist Rick Reichmuth last year the temperatures were in the single digits in Times Square this is Fox News well the trap is out of its bed I think I see a uh, mink there I'm not sure I'm gonna take a closer look you can see the trap was bed right there he was coming through right there and that's where the trap sits and it's missing and right over there underneath the water is a mink okay let's take a look at it Yes. Oh. 
looks like a nice big male. Alright. That's two from here. We're out of here with this now. Yeah, no. That was a mistake. Alright. The setup is a one and a half Victor. And just the brick as a grounder. Doesn't take much to drown the mink. There you go. Nice little mink. Well, that's the end of the mink season for me. I did pretty, uh, pretty good, really. I mean, I only had one trap out for mink, and four days I got two mink. So. But that's my old faithful area, so, and I didn't trap it last year, so two nice males, can't complain. We'll see what the weasel boxes bring. Well, weasel trapping was a bust. Well, see you on nice.